I was given the first serious camera at the age of 12. And because my father bought it, but couldn't figure out how to, how to use it. So I instantly you know, figured out. And since then, I, I uh, like a self-built uh, photographer, self-trained photographer. I just wanted to see the world. So I was a kind of hippie, <laughs> backpacker. I left Japan and then lost my way back to Japan. I got stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather cheap, small, it's very small. lightweight. Oh, it's true. Mm. Wow. How long have you have been using it? Almost uh, 20, more than 20 years. So cool. It's designed by the dentist in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not mass-produced camera. It's designed for me, and I modified it. Well, this is the size of the negative. So 10, 10 folders, 20 sheets of film. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's the one-day maximum. No, no artificial right. 2,000 years ago, there was no artificial right. <laughs> so there's a dome with, uh, with a hole in the center. So I, I waited for the full moon night. And uh, so this is the light from the full moon. Actually, this is a, the, the dawn of the day. There's still remaining some light from the, from the day. But the uh, long exposure of 50, 50 minutes. Probably this is only camera can see it. The, the human eyes has a different kind of uh, the view, but you may not see this clear detail of dark inside of the dark dome. My camera can see it. This is a vision of my brain or my inner vision to, to ask camera to make it visible. That, that's how I describe my photography. Without Japan Sari, I wasn't be Sugimoto. <laughs> Given the three show within uh, 40 years, so I owe something to Japan Society. I have to, to, to return my favor. Mm -hmm.